Hey, hi, Glenn here. Workshop at the gardens and we are making progress on the covered pergola. The Grinbig covered pergola. We are putting down the decking, the ceiling decking. Now I'm going to be doing the same exact detail on the roof that I did on right there. The little uh, timber frame that we did up at North House Folk School, which is also the same exact detail that we did on the pavilion project here at the gardens. Anyways, this is really quite cool. The wood, most of the wood that we're using here is larch and it came from a tree that was cut down right over there. But if you've been following along, you already know that the larch came from here. It's gonna be really, really close because when I designed this out, I, I don't remember if I figured it was gonna be like eight and now we're like 10 and a half by 16. So we cut all the wood that we had. We cut all the larch that we had. We also cut uh, some arbovita, which is cedar. And so I'm mixing in the cedar on the edges and the larch in the middle. And what's on the trailer down there is all the wood that we have to get this decking. If it really runs short, I do have a pallet of elm, which would actually be kind of cool mixed in with this. But we're going to see if we can knock it out with the wood that we have here. Pretty simple detail I am using. You saw me put them in the bag already. These are GRK structural rated screws, three and an eighth inch. This is one by material. So we are really fastening this down, but it's also going to uh, really lock up these rafters in here. And the rafters are 16 inches off center and they are full uh, two by material that we also salvaged and milled up here. That's in the previous video. So make sure you check that one out. And there's also a video about us being, us being Ben came out from the Duck Hill Sawmill and he milled up this one by material for me. So we'll put in the description or a card up there about milling that stuff. All right, let's get back to screwing this decking down. rows short not a big deal I've got some elm over there oh you noticed I got a haircut today thanks the elm over there I'll have enough to finish that off it'll look kind of cool this looks amazing from above but this is all going to get covered and uh but it looks just as good from below but I'm going to give you a pan around here a little bit of the gardens because the I don't know if you can see over there the sun is setting and it's absolutely gorgeous here. Woo, look at that. Grand Promenade right over there. That's where the lath house is. There's the little north house timber frame. 
wetting in the woods is right out there. Ah, uh, let's see. That's the sunset. Interesting. I might say I'm running out of uh, battery, but that's okay. We'll try to catch it. Anyways, garden pavilion, the fireplace, the lawn, and that one over there is the suite. There's the tent. Woohoo! A little more of that beautiful sunset in on the scotch pine which is gorgeous anyways i gotta keep going because i'm gonna go get the elm and put that on here so we finish off this decking tonight yeah so here we are over in the tool room tool room is right next to the sawmill shed which there's a video coming hopefully soon about getting the electricity down here so we'll be sawing our own lumber pretty soon but we did have duck hill out earlier this spring so I don't even know if this made it into a video or not all of that as I had mentioned is in a previous video for this build about milling the wood for the grin big but this is elm it's also one by six it's all in here nice and has been drying all summer so it's probably close and I could go get the moisture meter it's probably in the 12 13 14 percent thing to remember we don't need to kiln dry because we are using this outside and this will balance out to the relative humidity which in minnesota is in the 11 to 12 percent so air drying wood to use in your projects is just fine if we were making furniture yes we would want to get it down six seven percent down into that area but this is going to be just stellar for using it and it's going to be a little different color it'll add to the story it'll be cool Well, here we are again. It's dark out and I'm still working on this Grin Big covered inspired, Grin Big inspired covered pergola. Hey, must be tired again. Anyways, using some of the artificial light up there. These things are actually kind of pretty cool. It's a little flashlight light battery thing that goes on your Bosch tool. Not a bad thing. Anyways, check that out. You might not be able to see it. Maybe I'll grab that light. But the ceiling backing. Woo! is all in and that looks pretty sweet we're gonna put some tar paper on it first thing in the morning i'm gonna call it um for tonight i'll clean up a little bit and i'm also gonna call it for this video i think if i try to put more of what i'm gonna do into this video it might be one of those 18 19 20 minute long videos and yeah we all like to watch those right <laughs> anyways this one will probably still be long because i'm rambling but um gonna leave it there thanks so much for uh following along on this build watching it seeing what we're doing the grin big inspired covered pergola here at the gardens of castle rock built by the workshop at the gardens that's me glenn do me a favor really appreciate it. hit that like button down there and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel really helps out and i really do appreciate it everyone that's joining along getting close to 2,000 subscribers Woo, thank you so much all of you but uh, i'm gonna grab that cool funky little light and shine it up underneath there so you can get a little bit more tonight 
and then uh, join me on the next video when I do more. I don't want to promise more than I'm actually going to get done, uh, but I'll probably shoot and try to get the metal on there. I know we'll get the OSB on there, but we'll go there. All right, shine that light up there. And in this light, you can't even tell the difference between the larch, the cedar, and the elm. Looks pretty sweet.